How are you, my friends? Here I'm continuing the algebra course lectures, and now we are, are at lecture 16. It will cover basic equations. Please, if you need to see other lectures, you can go and visit algebra course lectures, the playlist there. Now, let's start with the linear equation in one variable. It's very simple, actually the simplest equation you can ever think of. It's a linear equation in one variable, can be written as ax plus b is equal to zero. See, the whole idea here is x, the variable, can be x or y or t or d. It has a power one here, like 5x plus 9 is equal to minus 10, d minus 4 is equal to zero, this one. Non-linear equations, we have in other videos later, we have squared, we have absolute value, we have rational, we have cube, logarithms, exponential. Any equation that is not linear is called non-linear equation. Now to solve a linear equation or any other equation, you can, you have some properties to deal with. We can add the same number on both sides. That's okay. We can multiply by the same number on both sides. It will not affect on the equation itself. Now, solving a linear equation is very simple. There are three, four steps. Easily you can do that. I put an example here, 2x minus 1 is equal to 23. Just add one on each side. So simplify each side separately. Isolate the variable term on one side. So we have to leave the variable on one side. You can take minus one on the other side. That's the same. It will be 24. Or you add one here, add one there. It will be 2x is equal to 24. Divide by 2, you get x equals 12. You can check always to make sure the equation is is the number here satisfies the equation, which is okay. Now, let's start with examples. Solve the linear equation. One good idea here is you can do it yourself in a minute and check. We have 5b minus 2, big bracket, 3b plus 2, small bracket is equal 7 minus 2b. So the answer is a number. We have to find the value of the b. So we, we start with the inside bracket here. 2 times b to b minus 2, and then we add here, we continue like that. It's not difficult. <clears throat> so when we uh, multiply here, you see 2b minus 2, with the 3b, it's 5b minus 2. Just multiply by minus 2, that's minus 10 plus 4, minus 2 times minus 2 plus 4. See, 5b we did not touch, 7 we did not touch, minus 2b we did not touch until the end, we can combine like terms. So that's uh, my 5b minus 10b is minus 5b. Take 4 on the other side, minus 4, bring minus 2b here. So b will be minus 1. So we say ss, which means here, ss means solution set. Solution set. Now this is a try at home. You can do this later. I put, I think, on the next slide, the answers. Full solution here, you can see the video on basic equations, additional solved questions. Try at home, sometimes you have extra questions, sometimes you have practice questions. You can see them in the playlist, additional solved questions. Let's continue here. Uh, solve a linear equation with fractions. See, we have to notice something here. Because after a few minutes, we are going to take another equation where they are a little different. Here, denominators are constant. See the denominators 3, 4, 2, 3, or any number 7, 12, 18, 20, 16, etc. Sometimes we have in the denominator a variable like 7 over x minus 1, or x plus 2, or x minus 3. So there, there's a little difference. Now, look at this nice note. For any equation with fractions, multiply both sides by the LCD. That's a little trick here or hint. 
it can help you anytime you have an equation with fractions with, which looks complicated here what to do how to find x so i look at the denominators three four two and three what is the lcd three i take three times four because two squared and two we have seen the lcd before so i just take that 12 is the lcd see the given equation that's the given equation the big equation same equation just multiply by 12 from where i get the 12 from the least common denominator 12 from 3 4 2 and 3 so i multiply by 12 the first one multiply by 12 the second one equals multiply by 12 multiply by, do not forget any term even if you have here one only one like this multiply by 12 now when you multiply by 12 you see the the magic here just the step after you multiply by the lcd there is a magic what is the magic no fractions completely so 12 divided by 3 4 times this bracket you have to multiply you see 12 divided by 2 6 multiply by the 6 12 divided by 4 3 x is there minus 12 divided by 3 4 times the 7 28 here now you distribute the 4 8 and 16 simplify the x so easy you can do that so 11 x is equal minus 44 just divide by 11 x will be minus 4 no need to check what does it mean here no need to check let me explain so this number here if the solution is correct this number is the solution because here the denominators are constant all of them should be constant if the denominators are not constant like the coming example you have to check sometimes it's a correct solution sometimes it is not now directly we go here <coughs> check if there is a variable in the denominator you see that look at the denominator x plus one x minus two this one x minus four at least one of them has an x in the denominator we have to check check solution at the end must now let's take the first one what do you think we can do in the first one here i cannot hear what can we do find the lcd right see I'm, i had an example too is easier now you can do this the same this one's the same now how to find the lcd if you are still weak in finding lcd you have to go to algebra course lectures about lcd and then you know how to do it i will explain it here you have to factor all the denominators here see this is x plus one x minus two. we have to factor this must now i take x plus one x plus one same power x plus one x minus two x minus two that's a different number power one if i have one of them with power two or three i take the highest power now what do i do i take this lcd you see this one the yellow one here x plus one x minus two multiply here multiply there multiply there as I, as we did in example two in the 12. so here we multiply with this lcd this is the lcd this is the lcd now you start to cancel x plus one cancelled well left with x minus two x minus two is cancelled x plus one cancel both here and then x plus three now this is the new equation here x minus two plus x minus one plus x plus one plus is equal to x plus three just simplify the equation find x but remember before we continue since we have a variable here in the denominator we have to check we have to make sure that there is no zero in the denominator so this is why we check we have to have no zero in the denominator now from the last slide we had this equation x minus 2 x plus 1 x plus 3 2 x minus 1 uh, bring the x x will be 4 now check you see this is the given equation here 4 plus 1 4 minus 2 4 plus 1 4 minus 2 no zero right you see no zero in the denominator so that's correct 
solution set SS is this X4. Now let's see the second one. You want to try? If you want to try the second one, please. Very nice. Pause the video a little. Check this one, number two, and then you can see the complete solution. Ready? Let's go. Now, one slide, the whole solution in details. X minus four, X minus four, so the LCD is X minus four. See, we multiply the first one here. This two, you see this two? This two here? This two is the number of the question. The, the first two here, multiply by X minus four. This fraction, multiply by X minus four. This fraction, multiply by X minus four. Why X minus four? The least common denominator. So this will be 2x minus 8. We cancel this, we get only 5. We cancel this, we get x plus 1. So bring x here. x will be 4. So I have to check. Put in the original equation. See the original equation here. 5 over 4 minus 4, 4 minus 4. I have 0 in the denominator. Rejected. So the final answer here, no solution or phi. You see? Nice equation, nice method, LCD, we found X, X is four. Unfortunately, four does not satisfy the equation. So we say there is no solution. Now, this is your turn. Look at these nice questions. First one, A, B, C. Try find the value of the X. The first one for sure, we don't have to check because we have in the denominators constants. Here we have x plus four and x, we have to check. Here we have x minus one, x plus one, you have to check. So try to find x, the answer is that they are full solution you can see in the video about basic equation, additional solve questions. You will find the solution of all these. Now let's go to some definition. What is equivalent equations, equivalent? Simple answer here. Two equations are called equivalent if they have the same solution set. S, S, S. Same solution set. So if you have an equation like this, 3x minus 7 is equal to 23, solution would be 10. If we have this equation, 2 times x minus 1 is equal to x plus 8, if you find x, x will be 10. Same, right? So these are called equivalent. Now look at this here. 2x minus 1 is equal to 5 x will be 3. This one x squared is equal 9, x will be 3 or minus 3. Solutions are not the same, so the equations are not equivalent. You can have a nice questions about this idea. Maybe, yeah, maybe this one. Wow, really nice question here. Find m. So remember here, you have to read the question carefully in mathematics. Find m. So M is a number, we have to find it. If what? The equations, these two equations, both this one and this one, both equations are equivalent. So what do we notice here? You have just to look carefully. This is an equation that has X. This is an equation that has X and M. So by little thinking, we can think of the first equation to find x easily because one variable only x. So I can find the solution. Suppose the solution is something, x equal 77, just an example. We take that number and we replace it here. Why? Because they have the same solution. Why same solution? Equivalent. And now we find them. See the, the idea and the little trick? Now you can find Simply now find a value of x here in the first equation. You can try it if you like. Let's see. I take the first equation, x squared. See, this is the by the uh, trinomial perfect. x squared minus 6x plus 9 plus x squared plus 3. Multiply here binomial FOIL method. 2x squared minus 5x plus 2. Because 2x minus 4, see, and minus 1 here. 2x times minus 2 is minus 4x, and then there is a minus 1, so that's minus 5x, plus the 2 at the end. Be careful. I did this little uh, fast here, you can do it. 
slowly. So simplify the whole equation, minus 6x plus 12, x will be 10. So the solution of the first equation is 10. That means the solution of the second equation is also 10. But 10 is the x. So I take this 10 here and replace it here. See 10? 10 over 3 minus the m is equal to half. Simple, easy equation to find m, but you have fractions. Take m on the other side, take half on this side. So 10 over 3 minus half, the LCD is 6. 20 minus 3, 2 times 10, 1 times 3. 17 over 6 is the value of the m. Really nice question about equivalent. Now try it home. Full solution you can find in the basic equations, additional solve questions. Now this topic is to be continued in lecture 17. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, you can subscribe and share it with your friends. Just to remind you, this is lecture 16. Thank you very much.